Hey everybody, this is Wedge and this is my gear video. Hey, this is Wedge and I'd like to talk to you about some of my gear I'll be taking with me on the Appalachian Trail in 2023. Over the past year, I've been doing a lot of research on what type of gear to use, on how to use it. I am an avid hiker. Most of my gear was over 20 years old. Over time, all my gear became antiquated. My backpack weighs seven pounds, and that's with the brain on it. My water system was gigantic. Now I use a Canadine B Free. Boots I would have worn 20 years ago, feel like they weigh about three pounds each. Nowadays, thanks to the fact that everything is ultra lightweight, in a lot of cases, it's gonna be a lot easier on me as an almost 50 year old man to make it up the trail. Being that we ultimately made this decision to go on the trail this year, it gave me a solid year and change to find all the gear that I would needed. So I didn't have to buy everything in a rush. Being part of the REI co-op has helped me save some money. I bought a lot of gear on eBay, which I would go check out somewhere else and then I would buy it. I spent a lot of time in REI, Camp Moore, Ramsey Outdoor, reading through people's articles, watching people's vlogs, watching gear review videos, and digging through the clearance bins at the local outdoor stores. Being close to 50 has brought on a lot of issues. My body's been worn down pretty well. I have back, shoulder, neck, knee issues, so I really needed to lighten my load. I really try to keep my base weight under 20 pounds now. If you want to look in detail and see how much everything I'm bringing weighs, I will put a lighter pack link down in the comments. I previously made a video of my big three, but in case you either don't want to go back and look at it, or you just want to continue watching here, this is what I have. My tent is a Big Agnes Copper Spur UL1. The backpack that I'm going to be bringing is an Osprey Exos 58. And in light equipment, Enigma Quilt. For warmth and comfort, I'll be bringing a Thermarest NeoAir x Lite, And for the colder months, I'm going to be bringing a Nemo Switchback, which I will be changing out when the weather gets warmer for a Gossamer gear pad. In my cook set, I'm going to be using an earth sack to carry my food in, MSR pocket rocket, tokes pot, and a rehydrating bag. Toiletries and health, I need to bring along some medications. I'm trying not to pack my fears with what I'm going to pack with it, but I've still been able to keep it under a pound. Well, we all know what I'm going to be using this for. As far as electronics, I have a Nightcore power bank that's 20,000 milliamps. This way I won't have a problem recharging my phone, my headlamp, aftershocks, bone conducting headphones. I really like these because I could hear everything around me and still have great sound quality while walking on the trail. I really try to focus on comfort and warmth. Let's talk about this Melanzana. I am lucky enough that my brother-in-law lives out in Colorado and he was able to go to the store and get me one. While doing trail magic last year, I met a hiker named Muppet who was wearing a shirt from this company called Jolly Gear. It looked extremely comfortable and he was very happy with it. 
The hat I'm going to be wearing is from the Matterhorn in Stowe, Vermont. For pants, I'm going to go with Under Armour tights and a pair of REI shorts. As far as my feet go, I'm going to be wearing a pair of Injinji liners with a pair of darn tough socks to go on the outside and top it off with a pair of Ultra Olympus. Since I'll be starting in February, I'm going to need to be ready for the cold and the wet. And for that, I've opted to go with Marmot for my upper and lower foul weather gear. At the end of a cold, rainy day, you're going to want some warm, dry clothes to wear. So let's talk about my camp clothes. To keep my feet warm on those cold nights, I'm bringing along a pair of Enlightened Equipment booties. We'll be going with Marmot for my base layer in camp. I have a warmer pair of Darn Tough socks and I have a pair of Merrill camp shoes. For my miscellaneous items, I'm going to be bringing a Mountain Blaze wallet. It's a great cottage company out of Maine. I highly advise that you go check out their Etsy store. It's got nice bright colors, so hopefully it won't blend in with the ground. I know this is unpopular with the ultralight crowd, but I'm gonna be bringing an air pump for my hair mattress. I have asthma, so I don't really wanna mess with that after a long day of hiking. I've got a twofer for my Swiss Army knife, which also has a pair of nail clippers on it. For my fanny pack, I've decided to go with the Light AF. It's incredibly light and there's a lot of room in there. This way I could carry things like my inhaler and snacks on the trail. I've decided to use the Catadine B Free. To accompany this, I have a two liter Canuck bag. I'm also bringing emergency water purification tablets. So as of right now, that's all my gear. I may add stuff, I may take away stuff. All of this is for a winter start. I will be switching it out with lighter gear as the weather gets warmer. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And if you feel like I'm missing something, please let me know. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my gear video.